Hey babe! So I am super excited to be back with another tutorial. I am so sorry about the week gap, but I have finally gotten moved in and have pretty much gotten everything where it is supposed to be. So that is a plus. So there will definitely be um, more videos to come, lots of different looks, lots of different styles. Um, definitely looking forward to being able to post more content uh, for you guys. So always be sure to let me know what it is that you want to see because I definitely want to be able to do that for y'all. So, okay. So today we are going to do another hair tutorial. Um, I know that y'all really enjoy seeing those so I wanted to be able to uh, put another one together especially since I have uh, so much growth going on. So this will be a really good chance to uh, kind of see how you can really manipulate uh, your hair um, even when there is growth. So I definitely look forward to being able uh, to share that with y'all. Okay, so as always, the first thing that we want to do, um, even though I brushed it out beforehand for video's sake, we're going to brush it out again. Um, whenever I do my faux hawk, I brush it all forward and I do this when I'm drying it as well. And the reason that I didn't do a wet to dry tutorial today is because I washed my hair yesterday. And so this is like a yesterday wash, a yesterday style, this is the day after. So my hair has got a little bit of texture to it from my prior product, um, which I find great for when you have short hair. So that's really important to make sure um, that you allow your hair that break and it's also going to help you be able to style it um, even better after a day of uh, it having some product in it. So to get started, um, I'm going to take my Aussie Headstrong Volume Spray Gel. Okay, so this is what I use daily uh, for my gel. Um, it provides texture for my hair because my spray is so strong and it's an aerosol. I want to be able to go through with gel and just get a good kind of wet textured look without it being too much. Um, I don't like using pastes. I know that a lot of people will put like those like pastes in their hair like you unscrew the top and it's got stuff in it. Now that is definitely not for me. Um, it's too gloopy. I know I have used spray wax and those are really cool. But for now, these are the easiest products uh, for me to use. Honestly, you can go get them at your local Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, etc. So you can get them everywhere. So we're just gonna, like I said, get a good uh, textured look going on. This kind of brings uh, some life back to the hair. And as you can see, I'm already kind of trying to like push it up a little bit. And I've pretty much trained my hair <laughs> to do what I tell it to do. So it kind of goes where I tell it to go, um, especially because I dry it this way also. So my hair is kind of trained um, to go up. So we're just gonna kind of start putting it into place a little bit there before we get going with our hairspray. Just gonna make sure that this is kind of playful and fun on the sides. Gonna make sure that the back has a little bit of volume in it. Okay. Really playing with this top portion up by the head. Okay. And then now, my favorite part, we're going to go in with the hairspray. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about the type of hairspray that I use, so pay close attention. Um, I use Freeze It Original Freeze, okay? This is the bottle. This stuff is fantastic. Like, I literally cannot tell you how fantastic this stuff is. It does such a good job of holding the hair, like it will hold throughout the day. Even if there's humidity, it'll just make the hold stronger. So it's very humidity and water resistant. Um, it is honestly my favorite hairspray. I've been using it for good grief, like five, maybe seven years, maybe, maybe longer. I don't know. I used it in high school, so who knows? <laughs> um, the same thing as the Aussie. <laughs> you can get it, you know, at your local drug store, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. Etc. And it's like five bucks, maybe six bucks, depending on where you put. Um, but it is such 
a good hairspray for sure. So same thing, just gonna kind of get under everything, you know, make sure that our placement is correct of hairs. <clears throat> Again, I like to bring mine forward, so I kind of just forward it up, just like a weight. So as you can see, where if I were to put this on without the gel, it would just be like a big dry cloth mop on the top of my head. But with the hairspray, it adds that textured look. So you kind of get a little bit of texture to play with, which is really important in a hair, a pixie hairstyle. Even if you don't wear a faux hawk, it's important. It's important to have that texture, but also that you won't hold. So we're gonna lift the back a little bit. Let's get a little bit of volume going on back here. Yes, I love hairspray. Hairspray and I have a very close relationship. <laughs> A full hot pixie look and it's a really easy way to do it. So again, those products were uh, the All Seed Volume Spray Gel and Freeze It Original Freeze Hairspray. Um, again, super easy, super quick. This is definitely my everyday um, hairstyle, definitely what I go to. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I'm super excited to be back and creating content for you guys. Um, do not forget, I am trying to get a Q&A video put together. So feel free if you would like to comment your questions below or you can go to my Instagram. Um, which is going to be in the description box. Um, feel free to follow me on there as well and you can send me your questions. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe and I hope that y'all have an absolutely fantastic weekend. Bye guys.